Okay, all I know it's been quite a while. I've been busy uh, and I've been contemplating a little. But this video doesn't include the audition day because I want to put the audition day separately because the review is about like 20 minutes by itself. That's why I need to make it a different video because this video is already long. I think three days together it's already long if I uh, remember correctly. But yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for the audition day video with the review but it's going to be the next video from this one just give me some time please i'm editing a lot and i'm so busy okay okay i see you soon in the next video but yeah do watch this video because i'm yeah i'm showing you the green screen which is i'm excited about and i'm giving you a sneak peek about some awesome songs that i'm uh, working on and uh some other stuff but yeah sit down and enjoy and i will see you in the next video okay take care until then I'll be waiting for you, okay? But just to explain myself, I say contemplating because it's been a, a roller coaster after that audition. <sighs> that about sums it up how I'm feeling. But you will know more soon. Hello, Dreamer. Let's get on board on Starlight's time machine. Welcome to Planet Yokoshima. Laboratory, the French imagination, enjoy. Coloring in the cross of the light, ethereal art, calligraphy, logos, love letters, books, fashion, accessories, things you've never seen before. Explore. Explore. Dreamers, my parcel, backdrop, green, white, black, white, green. Okay, Australian <clears throat> Idol uh, have uh, reached out again and uh, they told me that how it works is we're going to have a pre-recorded first and then if I made it to the top 12 I will be on the like yeah, that will be live but uh they said that I obviously have to be in person so I asked them where what do you mean in person like where is the location and I asked them if I'm expecting any other spending from my end like maybe traveling wise or maybe the, the location changes at some point or whatever but it's in October I don't think I always have the link for me to go and apply, but I'm not sure if I'm ready. It's like, if I'm right now chosen and like went to on the stage, I don't feel ready because I don't have songs of my own. Like I want to sing my own songs, but they are, like the music background is not as good as I want to be. I'll take it one step at a time, but actually like Australian Idol season three, I was looking at the, like what I what it looks like and everything. It's just literally like American Idol stuff. I don't think I'm ready yet for something as big as that. Because this is actually even bigger than this audition that I'm audition can audition for. And maybe have my own music, like I hired a music producer or whatever. I also want to get used to be on stage first and then can look at these big stuff. Because people on my age, like literally they didn't just suddenly come. They at least have gone like uh, live, have been singing live or at least karaoke or something. But for me, I've been like I was in the in my apartment, struggling and surviving. It doesn't do. Like I really want to actually have stage presence, get used to being on stage. Otherwise, if it's like suddenly in MLA, like Australian Idol, big massive stage, so many people, the judges. <sighs> no way. Like for a beginner, it's too much. At least for me, um, I can't take the big step. Not yet, like I'm not ready for this step yet. But for now, let me focus on this audition and do my best at it and see how it goes. If that actually went great, if I got a role and I got like singing on stage with other people and stuff, I can take it one step at a time. Finally uploaded day one, two, three video. I came across a post that said, people cheer for athletes before reaching the finish line. And I was thinking, I have nobody cheering for me. I have like few people engaging on my YouTube channel, but that's fine. I'm telling myself, I've been always cheering myself ever since as young as I can remember because my parents were toxic but reached a point where I don't even have confidence because I've been only me cheering, cheering myself so I'm losing my confidence but it helps to think that okay just the post said like keep cheering yourself up until you reach the finish line I've been doing that for so long and just want to say thank you for everybody who had been engaging. Definitely, I know that dream gonna happen. I see myself, I see myself in the future. I know it's coming. I'm not gonna leave this world until I am on the stage somewhere or another. So I'll find ways. It's a big, big decision. Excitement, let's do it, dreamers. You're not gonna believe what I see. with the stamps inside. 
got the clippies for the drops. Four stands is gonna be fun to assemble. Great, there's a manual on how to put everything together. Looks easy. The white drop, y'all. The black drop, y'all. I'm so excited. The grey drop. I know the grey drop for is like very ugly, but it is what it is. But yeah, the white one is definitely for products and stuff. And the black one is I can use it for either modeling or to like sing with the with the lights. When I'm singing like with the lights it's ref reflect with the black so beautifully. And of course we've got the green one. Um, for the green screen. So when I'm making videos from here all my face from here on I'll be able to make uh, like edit them in such a way that I can make a different background to make music videos. Excuse me if I want. And also I've got an idea where I can make music videos with the Okoshima. That'd be awesome, but yeah. We'll see. I have so many great ideas. But uh, I'll assemble this and I will see you when I assemble this. And uh, this is the manual. Looks quite easy. We have got like easy steps just to put them together. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Okay, bitches, this is it. Not sure what do I do with the folds. Just want to test it. This is as tall as it can get. It's actually taller than me. What I reckon I have to do, which is unfortunate, is I have to bring the camera closer. But if I brought it closer, surely yes, this is going to be taller than me. But I can't see my feet. Um, it's better than nothing anyway. But yeah, as I said, I'm worried about the shadows, unless... Let me see if I turn on the ring light. So this is how it looks like with the ring light on. <sighs> There's still these folds. I don't have uh, an iron to iron it. So probably what I'm gonna do is... Actually, that's a good idea. I can scroll it and leave it, and then it's going to be straight. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes. So that's the best, smartest idea. For now, I just want to test it. So yeah, this is me. Hopefully, mm, like even when I'm doing this, you can still see that it's going. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure, man. It's better than nothing. But obviously, like if I want to perform, I have to make sure that I'm in the screen. And the problem is when I perform, I put it far. And when I put it far, I have to be very, very close. Actually, not too bad. Yeah, so I perform, I have to be very, very close. Because if I came closer, I'll be cut out. And this is so much better. But yeah, this is me. And I just want to test it, and hopefully, it's gonna work out. It works, bitches. Look at me go. Um, yeah, so I chose the. You see the glowing background? I chose that. But I can remove it. But I feel like it's really nice, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's good, it works all right. Quite happy with it. For some reason, it works so much better than the phone. Uh, this version, the desktop version. But yeah, I can choose different lines if I want. This is actually fun. But yeah, I wanted to have nothing. It's awesome. You can see like some kind of awkward spaces here, but uh, it's not too bad. I'm happy, very happy actually. And I'm excited, yay, finally. And I've got yes, the great drop. It's not too bad. It's, it's an ugly one, but I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. It's not too bad. The black one I'm so excited about. It's really cool for taking uh, product pictures as well as um, modeling pictures. Oh my goodness, yes. And the other thing is the white one, which I'm also excited about to make better, more professional modeling pictures because I'm so tired of editing, it's so hard. So what I'm gonna do as well is, yeah, I'm going to scroll this. I scroll them all because especially the white ones, oh my god, look at that. Like you can see the folds, huh? For some reason for the white one, the folds are not too like, uh, viewable, which is really, really good. But yeah, I'm going to scroll them anyway. And uh, I'm gonna see you soon.
Uh, okay, I managed. Don't ask me how long it took me because it's so massive. And uh, yeah, so the first I scrolled the gray one because I'm not going to use it much. I managed to uh, scroll it, but then I put the white one because I don't want it to get dirty to protect it. The black one because I'm probably going to use it more than the white one. Then the gray green one because I'm going to use it more. And because it's very hard, so I wanted to like make it scrolled on the end because I'm going to use it more apparently. But yeah, see? It's nice. I managed. Can't believe that I actually did it. In the end, I realized that uh, I found my way. I also put like hairpins to like put them together. And uh, yeah, so it's just funny. I had these pins and like I literally had only four of them. So they literally were, I was able to use them for each drop and um, num num. Yeah, as you can see, I was trying to find a way to like scroll them together, but it was very, very hard. And in the end, I used the bed. So which is great. Now I'm gonna tidy everything because all of this here was here somewhere, like hanging. So I want to make a different space. But yeah, there it is. It's massive, but it's better than nothing. Another cool thing about this is I'm thinking to make a, uh, as I said, I need a dancing space as well. And I don't have that. So when I have the money, I'll be, uh, I want to buy mirror tiles and I'm gonna put them together on a certain, I can use the gray drop. Oh my goodness, the universe is knows at least the universe is giving me ideas and i'm very smart so i put them together what i'm talking about so i'm gonna use a gray drop because i'm not using it i'm gonna stick uh stick uh, mirrored tiles i think there's also mirrored oh i found actually a mirrored uh, scroll like a big mirror scroll thing that would be oh my god that's awesome and that's also cheap so i'm gonna buy these scrolls i'll see how long they are but i will literally just stick them to the gray one and i will have a portable mirror can you all tell the difference of the room? This is the good thing about being poor on board. You become very, very creative because you uh, have nothing to do, have nothing else to do with your time. This is something I've always done with my brother because we never went anywhere outside. We were not allowed. We were just like always in the room. So because we were always bored, we always changed the room. Like literally we would use the, we would um, just move the wardrobe and beds, make different ways like every now and then because that was just like boredom and also just makes the room feels different and makes very big space every time. So this is a really, really cute little uh, place where I can also work uh, on my books because I feel like this is so much better when it's to do with learning a new language or something, it's very motivating. So as you can see, these are my like uh, language, anything to do with my books and language is gonna be here. Uh, this is backdrop going to be here. This is my working bench, look how big is more so much bigger. I've actually done here, I've put this pole. There's so many poles that I have. And I just put them with the blue tuck. And I just hang the uh, fabrics that I'm still working on. So I just feel motivated and inclined to actually work hard. I'm so busy, like I have so many things. So they're waiting now, but um, yeah. So why it's different is because as you can see, there's so much more space in here. It's so much easier for me to sit down sometimes and work. That's because I moved the uh, the whole fabric hanger thing, let me show you. Yeah, it used to be here. I moved it there. So I can also hang the clothes that uh, I usually wear, also my bags. And uh, the reason I also wanted to put the clothes that I created here, so I would wear them when I go out. And I really want to start, yeah, I just want to reconnect with my fabric creating stuff like clothes I make. So, but what I'm most excited about is I made my own vanity mirror. So this is actually literally a place for my things. It's like, you know, like a vanity place. So everything to do with beauty and the taking care of my skin, my accessories as well. So I put my bag in here so it's easy access as well. But yeah, oh my goodness, I put uh, the wick thing here. The reason I put this here is because it's easier for me to dry clothes, but also, so when I'm working, I can stretch my leg and basically put it in either ring, just like to, Relax and uh, yeah, oh my goodness, look at me go. But I feel so much like the place feels so much more spacey. Um, obviously, these things are always going to be moving because I always like move them when I work, usually, they're just like here. But uh, yeah, oh, actually, I've put also my guitar there. Yes, I'm not supposed to be here, I was just because working, I'm just gonna put them away for a while. Things next to me, things I'm using, like the body mist and stuff. My books, um, and see. Also, 
I have got the Japanese, uh, so it's like a vocabulary and English vocabulary, literary, literary vocabulary. Don't judge me, I was exhausted. I was meaning dictionary, dictionaries. It's like within reach, so I can learn new words if I have time. But yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, as I said, move these, especially when I'm eating. So that's about it. I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I've done that. Look, even Pipi was happy about it. He's sitting on my to-do list. Oh yeah, I remember this has to be there as well. My hairbrush. And this is a book I'm reading. And this is my schedule list. I feel like my schedule, yeah, my schedules always have to be like in front of me. So I'm going. Just put this schedule here with my water. I'm gonna take my tea away. And uh, that's about it. Oh my goodness, look at the much space. I can't dance. <sighs> There's so much space now. But yeah, as I said, I want to buy the, the scroll mirror. So I just attach it to the gray thing. Oh my God, the, everything is perfection. Yeah, and uh, I can then dance in here if I wanted. Otherwise I can flip the bed and move this thing wherever I want. Uh, because like then will be, the mirror will be portable finally. And that's about it. Yeah, I also have that. Thing put it, I put it there so because that's the only perfect space for it for now. Actually, I'm gonna put the ring light here. It's like anything to do with studio and the recording would be there. See a poor person thing? This broke, so I just make do, tied it with the fabric that I have. But yeah, everyone starts somewhere. Look how beautiful and bright. <laughs> well, it's really dark because of the. <sighs> but it's really beautiful. I wish I can show you. It's just very beautiful in person. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at me go. Pepper tuna, the salad with onion, and the broccolini, mushroom, and green beans uh, with little rice and red chili. Oh my god, I'm gonna dig in, it's so hungry, yummy. Um, what was that? This reminds me to put all of my important files on my cloud. When I'm working. Um, I need it also to work. To make artworks. Um, why? I don't do anything wrong. Hello? Why? It's a second hand laptop and uh, I got a warranty. I think up to two years. Yay, it's back. Baby, thank you. Look at me being a bad bitch. Look, beauty. This is interesting. So if I was actually casted on the show for Australian Idol, they said that accommodation and travel, they will actually pay for it while uh, I'm working with them. It's a little bit embarrassing because I can't feed myself and stuff. <laughs> Found a post that uh, inspired me a woman said the past made her a queen that she was today and then i remembered yeah the past made me the king i am today i just remember that I even had a poem saying that <laughs> literally saying that no actually even better the poem i think also a word uh yeah the intro of my song i forgot which song it was yeah freak out i think which i want to actually make a video i just remembered um yeah i it starts with Something like, everything I had to go through and overcome made me the god I am today. Damn, son, Jim Carrey is carrying. Look at that. If you aren't in the moment, you are either looking forward to uncertainty or back to pain and regret. Bish, look at you, man, the king. But there will always be people who hate you. Whether you do that or do this, you can never please everybody. That's why do what you do. My beautiful cup of warm honey and lemon and I'll get some... My healthy biscuits that is running out. I have panic attack. People always reminds me to love myself. I love you. What do I do without you? I'm gonna say good night. Uh, I've got to be rested, well rested, for the audition the day after tomorrow. <sighs> Don't panic. I'm just trying to like imagine myself that I'll be able to have friends again and stuff. And my brain is like, even if you have people, you want to be happy because it's accustomed to unhappiness. But uh, what does my brain know? This is like another thing my ex-friend said. Said, uh, whatever happens, I know you will never be happy. Bish.
you don't fucking know me. I want to even just tell myself that yes, I can be happy, I can heal. There's no such thing as trauma that never heals. I am stronger than I'm strong. I can do it. Maybe we can do this. Stop panicking. I don't know why I'm always just imagining myself that, like, no, so what? I feel like the more, I feel like I'm worried that I'm actually unhappy and I will never be happy. And the more I will succeed, the more I will feel like I'll never be happy. So it freaks me out. This is the self-exiting idea freaks me out. I don't know why I always related to fame. Fuck that bullshit. I was related to like somebody who like, I don't know, be, like goes on stage and everything. And then at some point they commit suicide. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. But it's very scary. That's why I'm scared, but it's okay. It feels better to talk about it. And um, stop. Shh. Just because you're tired. Every time you're tired, this happens. Take a chill pillow. <sighs> you're so tired. Good night. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Things will be get, can get better. I'm just right now scared because I feel like my books are going nowhere. It's because me, I have to get out there. And I'm searching about all sort of things, like how can I meet musicians without having to drink? Um, because I don't drink anymore or smoke. And I read in a post that embrace this new self and try to find this new energy, like put it out there, like you don't have to actually drink or smoke to make friends or make friends with musicians. Actually, uh, I read that when you're a musician, me like drinking and taking substances and stuff can hinder your career. So I don't know. It's uh, one of these days when I'm having anxiety, so I do anxiety poops and uh, my voice freaks me out. So I'm gonna say good night. Bye. See you soon. Good night, Monica. I'm so happy. Like the how the apartment is so spacious. Also, yes, uh, I don't have one my sleep. Finally, I fixed it. So tomorrow, it's been so long since it's been sunny. But tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna see this gorgeous space. Also, I've got so many things to do. I want to do the sculpture and stuff. So yes, good days coming, better days. See, that's because I'm so tired. So I'm like, good night, bye bye, see you tomorrow. Can't wait for the audition to have a laugh and uh, talk to people again, have fun with people. Good morning, dreamers. I'm struggling so hard to find musicians uh, to jam with. So I just grabbed one of my songs and uh, reached out for, I don't know how, just like I found a music producer, I don't know where, uh, like in the search. So I sent them one of my songs and I asked them some questions and see how it goes. Apparently they take 70 per hour. So I asked them, how does this work? And we go from there, but I'm excited. Uh, whatever it may be, maybe I just want, as I said, the backing track and then I can take it from there while I train my voice to become even better. I need money, man. I've got to figure this out on how I'm going to make money because uh, using Fiverr, like selling art on Fiverr is just, I'm already chasing after a client and they're not responding. So it's just a total mess and I, I've got to find a way. Uh, yeah, I just remembered I want to print uh, my artworks to probably hopefully find a tattoo artist who might be interested but yeah, I want to take my files and go around and ask around the same thing with my paintings and stuff but yeah my payment next week so I've got to wait but yeah this is a good thing about waking up early I feel kind of sleepy but I know I just can't go back to sleep so I'll be adorable so that's how the day it's so damn cold <laughs> and I'm so happy about like the whole room Look how wonderful and spacious. It's awesome. Get on any with you. Wake up. Leave. Wake up, baby. Come on. I'm especially happy about this bar. Uh, bar? About this part. Also, I feel so ready to just go mingle. Like, uh, to just sit around, whatever, like, uh, live music. To meet musicians and everything. Just connect to the music, but... I need the money to just like sit around, uh, buy something. But I feel ready, finally. I feel like slowly I know what I want. Um, 
but I need the money to go out. So this is like literally the last step between me and everything. Sibling come man. And look how nice and straight this is. I can't wait to try it. Look what I found y'all. It's a shutter, or like a remote shutter. So basically it helps you uh, remotely take pictures and stuff. Or otherwise like turn volume on up and down. So um, I'm using my older phone, so that's why the screen is cracked. But I just want to show you how it works. So basically, I just needed to change the battery, apparently, for some reason. So yeah, I just connected it, and right now, if I want to take pictures and stuff, it does. Like that. I'll get the video. Yeah. The volume goes up. And up apparently <laughs> yeah apparently it just goes up at least takes photos so that's great time for acid jazz it has been so long dancey dancey look baby see 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 so best so good so cool so chic so vibe so positive i want to make some eggs mixed with tomatoes and a uh, side of English breakfast tea, yes. Look at this goodness. Tomato, eggs, greens, and onions. With mixed herbs. Look at me, bitches. Dare you make something as beautiful as this? Man, that chili really adds to the aesthetics. Look how pretty. Time to dig in. Let's open the blinds for nice sunshine. Today I dreamt of the homeless guy that I actually met him, talked to him, and I actually did help him change his life. But in the dream, I had money, so I bought him um, the sleeping, the same sleeping bag that I used to have when I was homeless, um, like the warmest one. <sighs> Memories. I don't even know if I still have it or do I throw it away or whatever happened to it. Thank you for the memories. Let's begin this shit. Just chilling with some nuts. <sighs> this happens again. I just like waking up very early. I don't know what to do. It just feels very strange. I guess I can work on some clay work stuff. Or I can paint. Just feel, uh, I don't know, it's weird. I'm not used to it. But I've got to, I guess. It feels strange, man. Look what I've been up to. This is the sushi that I told you about I've been working on. And this is how it looks like so far. It's very cute. Alright, our bitches, here it is. Super adorable. Super cute. <sighs> okay, finally continued making these. I don't know if i shown you this, but this is it. Like bleeding, and then we have got this. I just glazed them. I'm so obsessed with the glaze. Look at that. Focus. The glaze is so good. It's still drying, but um, and yes, this is it so far. It's so adorable. I also continued making these. Let me show you. Nice and glittery as well. Glazed. I don't know why my camera is not cooperating. It's pissing me off, but this is it. There they are. Focus. I don't know why it's not looking at it, it's literally here. There you go, thank you. They're so adorable. But yeah, these are the earrings. And then I've got these as well. And these are waiting. That's it, that's uh, how many hours I woke up at 6, 7 a.m. So in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 5 hours. So I'm gonna chill, also it's lunch time. But uh, yeah, this is it so far. Hey, my ID with my new name has arrived. Actually, this is like uh, my first ID photo that actually in which I look cute. Look at that. I look adorable. This is actually the first time, which is funny. For some reason, I look so much younger than like my other, all my other ID pictures. Look, I look adorable. <laughs> Alrighty, I 
applied for Instagram's verification so I can get the tick so people when they see the tick they can know that I'm a public figure um, yeah so with Instagram I'm so glad so they're asking first of all you show the ID an ID so I finally because I changed my name I was able to show that your Koshima is Jacqueline and then uh, they're asking about the links to do with interviews of you or like you being out there i found like four or five links so there's like the my author page on uh, goodreads there's like two interviews yeah two interviews and one news article oh i forgot to add another news uh, interview and then there is uh what else a star now profile and i also have actually where is it imdb i think it's like where you find about actors and stuff so yeah there's the movie jet and i'm in the cast so yeah that's it's great for me to actually see that actually it helps me to actually remember yes tomorrow friday i'm fit for it like i was i just remember that i was living that life just like getting out there being in the interviews in front of the camera and being like literally just me acting singing modeling and i want that back and i'm back baby so yeah feels great okay so apparently Australian Idol has filmed in Sydney obviously I don't have the money to do anything so it's a if I ever need to it's a, it's a very far far away plan for now I'm very busy in Melbourne at the moment still trying to figure out uh, how to settle down I'm on the wait line for the university so see how that goes they fixed my email but I just ask I'm gonna ask them about the student hardship because it's been more than 10 days. Anyway, pepperoni, mozzarella, pasta with some salad and uh, red chili. Fruit juice. Ugh, exhausted, just making music, music, music. I started a new other song that's very nice and funky. There's a lot of songs lining up. Oh my goodness, my head hurts. I need a shower. And I'm gonna have a bottle of muesli. This is what happens when you wake up very early. You get very sleepy very early as well. Tomorrow is the audition day, but I'm not going to like fixate myself about it and just overdo it. I just like as if it's nothing has happened, as if, as if like I'm going tomorrow for an appointment or like meeting somebody. So I don't want to, the more you stress about something, the more you're gonna like get nervous about it. And I think I'm ready, like my muscle memory is happy. And I feel like I'm going to do my best, honestly. I'm going to do the show and whatever happens, happens. But um, I'll stop, like, thinking, hopefully. I'll do my best. I really want to do my best. I'm just worried that if I should push myself, I'll get more tired. Because this is the thing about my energy. If I uh, have anxiety, my energy is already draining. And then if I want to socialize while I'm on anxiety and hiding anxiety, it will just get, everything will get worse. That's it. I and I feel that I might fuck up, but it's okay to tell myself I'm really to fucking doing my best. To Yokoshima, fucking guys, like ever since I like even like when I'm showering, worrying about things about the future or whatever, I'm just like Yokoshima take over. And it's really hard, but as soon as I say this, just I forget. Just like honestly, this Yokoshima energy had been really uh, getting shit done. I'm really glad. But uh, I feel like, oh my goodness, I'm doing so much, but I feel like I'm not doing anything. I don't know why. Because probably I have so much to do more. There's always so much to do. I'm just so upset about Shumukh book, because why did I start this book? Just to like stress myself out. Um, <laughs> because I wanted to do We Am and then Art Scientist and then get back to my novels. So right now I have Shumukh and it's such a chore, but I've got to finish it, but it's such a chore. Eventually I'm gonna finish from it. But it's okay, today was an art day and uh, I'm just gonna chill. I wanted to also try the green screen like once because right now it's straightened. I can't be bothered, I'm just tired and exhausted and just wanna chill with the game and that's it. I really want to sleep, man. What time is it? Six, six twenty-four. I better not nap, otherwise I'm gonna sleep, sleep, sleep. All right, y'all, found a potential music producer but uh we can have a call and we're gonna talk about anything like anything that i have questions about stuff but uh not at the moment right now i'm busy with the audition but uh we will call and we will ask questions and we will see what happens but obviously i will have to invest for my songs but we'll see how it goes and he liked it he was like your songs have great potential 
but obviously they still have a like they need to be polished uh, like the backing tracks and everything yeah but he'd be happy to help me but anyways I found somebody I can trust finally and I feel like he's he was like I love the vibe which makes me even more confident which is great but yeah, anyways we'll keep you on the loop as always I'm gonna go do some groceries help I just can't stop making music I made another song I just can't stop making music man ever since letting Yokushima take over Thank you, Yokoshima. Now I just want to do one thing. Get it out there. I want to. It is time, y'all. Yokoshima, take me away from here. I wanna fly, baby. So, tomorrow is audition day, and Yokoshima is gonna f make me fly away. He should. He should. He has no other choice. That's it. This is a small life, and I want to take the best out of it. I'm so tired of hiding. I have a lot of potential. So, yes. <laughs> can't wait to show you the songs all the songs that i'm creating man it's just a sneak peek into the songs this is one of them please please don't judge the vocals they're literally just sketching i was making them in the bed and sitting on a very awkward position as well <laughs> excited about Feel the tappy tappy sim bass the rattle They don't wanna be a trip Lay some fun cause not a sim Dreaming all the day and a dreaming all the night My eyes are well like this is a way To take him out to your And this is grow up and forget me grateful I am for the universe to give me all the time I need to actually sort out my what I want to do with my life and I'm just so grateful and I feel so ready like tomorrow although it's scary I'm feeling something that I haven't felt for so so long uh, being enthusiastic and excited about something the way I used to when I was a child so before I know like my, growing up I was very sad like uh, it was very heartbreaking I was like, that's just, we lived amongst depression and I was thriving amongst depression. I was depressed. But uh, back then when I was in high school, the only thing that I really looked up forward to, uh, to go to school for was, um, yeah, as I said, I used to play in the, the acrobats team. And that was my favorite because that was like the closest to ballet dancing, and just like being on stage in general. And uh, my Actually, my parents didn't know that that was a dancing thing. Um, I had to lie to them. But yeah, I never, they never knew. Um, like other, everybody in my team, they always like had their family with them. Uh, like to celebrate and everything with them. But I've never had anybody. I remember that everybody in my team got together, like ate pizza and stuff. 
I never came around, I was always by myself. I never talked to anybody, I used to cry a lot. It was so sad, but uh, I really did my best. Even like when our team won, everybody was happy and I didn't, I was just no feelings at all. But uh, the teacher said that, I know that you are not showing anything, but I know that you're very, very happy inside. It was the best thing that I've ever felt somebody understands me, actually can understand me. Which is sad, but uh, hey, that's just me. That's how life had built me. But what I'm trying to say is this enthusiasm is bad. This excitement is back. You know this feeling when you just like, uh, when you are young, you want to go to school because something is exciting is happening, like you're going on a trip or something. This is what it feels like. And I want to embrace this feeling and not get, I've been like, I was so excited when I was shaving. I felt like I want to hurry to do something. Like I want to hurry to go there. And I hope, I hope, I hope that people will be welcoming. Even if they're not, I've done my best. And I'm finally going to be around my own people, like creative and everything. And I'm so ready to go out there and heal. And I want to. And I'm so tired of saying, like, it's not me, it's not me. Uh, this is not my cup of tea. Like, fuck off. That's me. That's very much me. To be around people. I used to, at least. Not what I, like, I don't have to force myself, but what am I saying anymore? I'm just so tired. It's like 1 a.m. and uh, I have to sleep. And yeah, I just want to say tomorrow is the audition day. The awaited day. Not only for me, not only for you, but the child me herself. Uh, I was a girl before, so that's why I'm saying herself. Dancing in the room over and over again, once upon a December. I'm gonna dance it tomorrow, I'm gonna make her dream happen. Yeah, I've got to heal the child within and uh, I just realized this Japanese Hina doll that I have, it's been with me since my Yakushima came out actually. And I started my Yakushima channel and then I ran away and I brought this Japanese Hina doll with me. And it survived homelessness with me and the faces are cracks and everything. And I just realized, I don't know why I'm just like looking at it because I'm looking at the screen as well. My hairline, like the, like this black, just reminded me. I just felt like I was suddenly seeing myself. Especially like I don't have the eyebrows look. Um, I feel like I'm looking at myself. Like literally, if I'm just like wearing that cloth thing with that thing on my head, that would literally what I would look like. Hey, not all. Elegance and theatrical. Just a little fun story, before like when I bought it and I was back home like still suffering at some point my mother bought me electric guitar and there was once upon a time the guitar was falling down and it was just like I found out that the Hina doll saved it like the guitar literally just fell on the Hina doll's shoulder and I fucking swear the Hina doll like was I'm not crazy like I do remember the Hina doll was tilted like the guitar fell on it even if it was right like if that's actually she she moved or he if the doll moved or not if it was actually there still it saved my guitar and I took that as a sign that it wants me to follow my dreams and still with me and still watching over me and still waiting for me to make the dreams true and we're gonna make it true baby sometimes I feel like if I died I'm gonna my soul gonna go to that Hina doll whoever gonna take that doll if it survives I'm gonna be in there, <laughs> maybe. We can do this and I'm excited and I can't, yeah. When I meet people, I'll just be like excited and thank you for the opportunity. I'm just gonna be myself. I realize that I perform or just become myself better. I can open up when I'm being myself and not worrying about what people think about me. Like I hate when I have to be like, oh, I'm like very, like, um, you know, very like uh, elegant and whatever I am, but um, I realized that when I'm outside, most of the time, for some reason, well, not childish, me, I wouldn't say childish, but very, yeah, some, it feels like I'm a, a happy child. Like there was this innocence in me um, that I realized people actually liked it before I didn't, before, because I was bullied for it. But right now, for some reason, when I'm embracing it, being myself outside, I can feel, like people feel the energy, smile at me, and I want to embrace that that I am this, uh, people say like a uh, radiate magic or whatever. But anyways, I have two people in me and I, in this theatrical performance, I'm gonna put them together. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you all how that happened. I'm excited and I can't wait. 
Finally, thanks for everybody who had been supporting me, and I will see you tomorrow. Yes, it was here for luck. We I love you. Look at you. You're so silly. I love you, wish. Fingers crossed. I'll do my best. Baby, you're a lucky charm. Look at you. Look at you, baby. So make me so happy, Bishi. Bishi, 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 Bishi. You're so adorable. What is this? What is this? What is this? What can I do with you? Anyways, wish me luck. Good night. And I will see you actually, yes, so tomorrow, day uh, four or five. So, yeah, three, four, two, five, six. So, four, five, six. Wow, we are flying through this month. Yeah, so four, five, six. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm gonna put these days together and oh my goodness I just actually realized this month I'm gonna finally probably be on stage I'm not gonna read to the future but anyways I'm gonna shop and I can't wait to tell you all how the audition goes on but um, I'm very excited I can't wait to be with people again people who are like me I'm gonna do my best. Good night. Sub, like, share, and hit the bell notification. Let us spread fun, spread love, creativity, and inspiration. Bye bye, baby.